Wi-Fi and Internet connectivity to rural areas is one of President Duterte's banner projects. It's part of a broader national broadband plan. Bim Santos spoke to the ICT Secretary Rodolfo Salalima, who explained how this will be implemented. The reason for the national broadband plan is for it to exist, to, supple to supplement or as an add-on to the services of the commercial public service providers in those areas where their services are not enough or where the services are lacking. So, in union. Now, if you ask me, are there already components? Yes. Only that we have yet to evolve an integrated and comprehensive one. Kasi walang direksyon, hiwa-hiwalay. We have to integrate it. Ang kagandahan nito is the government through the Wi-Fi project will pay the telcos some amount for them to extend their services to the area where the government have provided already the connectivity. And the people there who have no access to the public services may now use the Wi-Fi and the government, the public services, connect them together and they can call free of charge to them now. Ano po sa kung na timeline for to iron up yung ganito ka-comprehensive na broadband plan for nationwide? The plan itself, not the total infrastructure okay. deployment, but the plan itself. We may be able to give the president uh, the plan in a year's time or less. Bakit po ba mahal yung internet natin tsaka sabi nila mabagal? Ano na po yung mga pwedeng gawin na inisyatibo ng DICT para mas gumanda po yung sitwasyon? Di ba sabi ng carriers, hindi namin mapabilis yan because sabi nila kulang kami sa frequency. Pag humihingi kami sa, sa gobyerno ng frequency, hindi kami mabigyan-bigyan. Pangalawang issue nila is they want to speed up capacity building not only in the cities but also in the rural areas. But ang problema sabi nila is yung mga local government units, the provinces, the cities, mabagal magbigay sa amin ng permits. If that is the problem, sabi ko, my first order to the NTC is give me the inventory of the frequency. Number two, if your problem is the LGU, sabi ko, NTC draft for me a space, uh, an executive order to be signed by the president mandating the local government units, the towns, the barangays, the provinces to process applications for, per, for permit to render public services in only three days. Considering the size of the Philippines in terms of market share as well as the available frequencies, do you think it's still viable for a third player to enter the marketplace? Sa tingin ko naman, we still have enough frequencies for a third player. Ang problema lang is, even as there may be enough frequencies, at the end of the day, the decision lies on the third player. Because if there are no demands, their business or public service venture in the country ay mamamatay lang yan. Prior to this, you've been with the private sector for a long time, primarily most recent of which is Globe. Sabi nila possible na baka maging bias to sa kanyang pamumuno. Anong, like, will this uh, previous work experience scholar or in, or in any way influence your leadership? So among the sectors, yung telco industry, PLT or smart cannot say that I could be unfair to them. Because even in the past, I have helped them. On the part of the public naman, Grant me naman what is perhaps due me by in fact modernizing the country. Cable TV, mobile telecommunications. I spearheaded all these services in the country as far back as in the 1990s.